hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel it's aries so this is going to be another self-care maintenance kind of video since i got some new products i need to try out so getting right to it i'm starting off with my nails and i already have a couple of videos of me doing these gel nails i'm doing the same old thing so i'm really not gonna explain too much long story short i like to dehydrate and prime my nails before putting the glue on them and curing it and then i'll put some glue on the fake nails and plop those on and the nails were already buffed and primed before i put those on so yeah i'm really just going to talk about the um polish whenever i get to that part
Okay, so the nail polish I'm wearing was sent to me from Nail Reserve, and I got to pick these five colors, and today I chose to wear the Electric Red and Playground, which looked, it looks white on camera, but in person it has like a light pink chrome kind of thing going on, I don't really know. Um, but Nail Reserve is a vegan nail polish brand, they don't use as many harmful ingredients as some other brands and the polish can last up to three weeks and the colors are so pretty they're so bold and pigmented i really don't think i needed two coats um with this polish but i'm just so used to doing multiple layers because that's what i had to do with the beetles gel polish so i did red polish on all the nails except for my ring finger on my right hand and then i did white polish on my pointer finger on my other hand and i also tried some rhinestones that i got off amazon this is my first time trying this so i did something real simple but um i'll get to that once i get done with the two layers of this polish All right, now for the rhinestones, all you have to do is put some glue down first and then put whatever jewelry you want. And if you have something more bulky on there, then you would have to put more glue around it. But I just had these three little rhinestones and I had to cure that for three freaking minutes. And then the last thing I did was put a top coat on all the nails and cure that and throw a little cuticle oil on. I think it came out really cute and I can't wait to try the rest of the colors that I got. If you want to try any of these polishes, you can get 50% off if you use my code Aries. And I will have that link in the description box.
all right so now it's time for some skincare i'm gonna be trying some field trip skincare products that was sent to me from influencer and i've actually had some of their products sent to me around this time last year i think and i really liked it so this time i have their energizing scrub and this did not look very cute coming out but um i really like how this scrub exfoliates my skin like you know how some scrubs have little tiny exfoliating beads and you can't really feel anything but with this i got a really good scrub without it being too harsh on my skin So after I rinsed off the scrub, I'm going to go ahead and use the Dermaplane wand that I got to shave my face. And the box comes with a QR code that shows a video on how to use it. So I'm going to shave all this fuzz on my face. Now I was going to show how much hair came off, but it was literally falling off onto my clothes. So yeah, I also went ahead and shaped up my eyebrows off camera, which I thought was going to be hard because of the size of the blade, but this thing shaves so smooth and easy, like I barely had to put any pressure. Right here, I'm just using my Glow Recipe Niacinamide Drops that I already had. And then I'm going to use the Field Trip Brightening Serum. And I honestly didn't think anything special was going to happen with this because of how watery it was. But the more I rubbed it in, the more it, it kind of started to get tacky and it made my skin feel more plump. And I'm really hoping this brightens my skin because as you can see, I have lots of discoloration and dark spots. And let's see, after this, I skipped the daily moisturizer with the sunscreen because it was nighttime. And I finished up with the moisturizer that came with the Dermaplane wand box. And I put way too much of this stuff, but whatever. I guess you can't go wrong with too much moisturizer. Now, moving on to my lashes, I'm doing the exact same thing I did in my last maintenance video, but this time I'm just using these thicker lashes from the same brand I got off Amazon. So I do a layer of the bonding stuff on my natural lashes, and then I add an extension to the top and bottom of my lash, just on the outer corner. And then for the rest, I um, add the extension just under my lashes. And then when I'm done, I'll add the lock gel, whatever you want to call it, to the base of the lashes.
Okay, so it's actually the next day. I forgot I needed to wax my armpits. This was very last minute. I was rushing. But anyways, I like to use this wax roller that I got from Amazon, of course. So first, I plug the roller up and let it heat up for a good 15 minutes. And then I like to even out the wax on the roller by rolling it on a wax strip first. And then I'll roll it on my pits. And I put the strip on there. And I get somebody else to pull it because I cannot do it myself. Um, yeah, this is the only thing, the only body part that I want that I wax. Oh god, I can't talk. <laughs> this is the only body part that I wax at home because I'm just way too ticklish under my arms. Like I'm the only one that can touch my armpits, and nobody else can do it. But yeah, my other you know body parts, I'll go get professionally done because I ain't no way I'm doing it at the house. So after I um get my sister or whoever is closest to me to pull the strip i put the strip back on there a couple times just to try to get as much wax off as possible and then i take this spray to get the rest of the wax off and then um after i do my other arm i'll take some ingrown hair serum that i get from my wax place and then put some deodorant on and that is finally the end of my maintenance self-care day whatever you want to call it I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Okay, yeah. You gotta, you gotta go down, 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 down. Red? Yep. You holding it. So. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay. One. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Not that bad, not that bad. Ew. <laughs>